a very warm welcome to Law and Life. This is Shashank Mishra as the host with the speaker that is renowned senior advocate of the Supreme Court of India, Subodh Markande ji. Today, our point of discussion is on the topic advocate on record in Supreme Court of India. So starting with my first question, which is, should Supreme Court of India on record in Supreme Court of India be abolished? Uh, I'm somewhat outraged that the action of uh, the president of Supreme Court Bar Association for uh, um, writing a letter to the Chief Justice of India uh, saying that the institution of uh, advocate on record should be abolished or whatever done away with. I think it's uh, something outrageous as a person who has been an advocate on record for uh, at least six years after I came to the Supreme Court, I'm outraged because uh, this seems to it seems to me that you know the president of the Supreme Court Bar Association is quite out of sync with the realities of uh, practice in the Supreme Court. Uh, I may say that uh, advocate institution of advocate on record is uh, uh, the is one of the four pillars of the Supreme Court practice. One first being the most important being the Supreme Court itself. Second, its registry. Third, senior and other advocates. And the fourth, but one of the most vital part is uh, the advocate on record. So the letter of Supreme Court Bar Association, president to the CGI to do away the advocate on record system has created huge controversy. What's your take on this issue? So as I said, that uh, institution of advocate on record is a very important one. And uh, I'm quite outraged at this suggestion. It can't occur to me that an institution which has served the Supreme Court since 19, at least to my knowledge, since 1966, uh, should ever be, you know, it should any part of the Supreme Court body as a whole should ever think of abolishing a system which has served so dis with such distinction, you know, for the last uh, uh, 50 odd years, 56 years. Please tell us more about the system and when was it introduced and why? See, yes, we don't uh, maintain history. History is a very important part of any institution. So Supreme Court should place, uh, should uh, <laughs> take steps, you know, for writing its official history. So from whatever I know, in 1950, when the Supreme Court was constituted, there was this system of agents. So many of the agents were not even law graduates. That's a system which it inherited from the federal court, uh, which came into existence under the Government of India Act of 1937. So it went on like this. I think during the chief justiceship of uh, uh, Justice Koka uh, uh, Subbarao, uh, who was a very insightful person, he felt that you know a, a new kind of system should be evolved, which should you know take in the duties of uh, what uh, in Britain and also in Bombay, Calcutta, and Madras is called the solicitor, and you know with right to argue. So that is how the advocate on record system was uh, conceptualized. So in, in the rules of 1966, Supreme Court rules 1966, you have this system, you know, under order four, if I'm not wrong. So as the advocate, you know, advocate on record is is essentially a, a, it's a link between the client, the court, the senior advocate, the registry, and uh, this is the media. So for the last 50 years, this system has evolved and it's doing so well. Uh, it's uh, 
function in the Supreme Court is lauded by one and all. I don't know. This seems to be a aberration. Yeah. Sir, whether it was challenged and with what result? Yes, it was challenged, but by uh, Lily Isabel Thomas, uh, when she came to Supreme Court, she was a great scholar of Sanskrit. She came from Kerala. And uh, uh, since she was not allowed to file, she filed a writ petition in the Supreme Court under Article 32 of the Constitution. Uh, but the repetition was uh, ultimately dismissed by a long judgment in which all her, because she said that uh, this is a violation of my right to uh, practice, and that is right under 191G, and uh, she also thought that it's arbitrary. So on those two grounds, Articles 14 and 19, she had challenged, and it was uh, the challenge was uh, uh, the challenge failed. The court gave good reasoning that uh, it's a so the challenge has been turned down long time back. So I don't know why it is uh, suddenly this has come up. Sir, so what are the main functions of the advocate on record? As I said. The system of advocate and record is a, is a very unique system. The advocate and record is a vital link between the client and the court, court's registry. He keeps the record, uh, he maintains the record, he uh, briefs the senior advocate or whosoever is the leading counsel and uh, more importantly, more important than anything else, he mentors, you know, the, uh, the juniors under him who come as trainees. Mentoring is very important part of the function of the uh, advocate on record. So you would see that, you know, oh, very uh, distinguished people have been mentored by the advocates on record. Yeah. So what contribution has this system made to the Supreme Court Bar Association and higher judiciary? Uh, well, I may say like this, that ever since, you know, uh, a very large number of judges have come from the ranks of the advocate on record. Because, uh, you see, his uh, functions are very uh, onerous. And his functions are also enjoyable, as I can say, as former advocate on record. And uh, uh, they are very important for the functioning of the Supreme Court. So, but coming to your point as to what contribution this system has made to the, uh, su to the Supreme Court and uh, the judiciary, I may say that, you know, uh, ever since the Supreme Court started uh, raising uh, judges of the High Court from, from the ranks of advocates on record. At least uh, five judges, to my mind, have come to, you know, uh, Supreme Court. I think the uh, first judge to be appointed from the ranks of advocates on record was uh, Mr. Justice uh, S.C. Agarwal. Uh, to the Rajasthan High Court bench. Uh, but you know, one of the most distinguished uh, persons from our ranks of, uh, I, I still feel that I am also from the rank of advocates on record, <coughs> in spite of my being designated as senior. Uh, Justice uh, Dalvi Bhandari, you know, who is now the, who is now having his second term as the, the judge of the International Court of Justice. Then I can uh, say that uh, Mrs. Justice Gan Sudha Mishra was another one, but one of the most uh, uh, distinguished and also very promising judge, uh, Justice uh, S. Ravindra Bhatt, 
who has now been appointed last year or so to the Supreme Court bench. And if I'm not wrong, pro probably uh, Chief Justice Murlidhar also comes from the ranks of the advocates on record. So, and of course, a very large number of judges from of the High Court are from the ranks of uh, 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 advocates on record. So they have made a very, uh, very significant contribution to the bench. And they have also enriched bar. I mean, I can immediately recall that uh, late Mr. P. Parmeshwar Rao was one of the most distinguished members of the bar, and he was from the ranks of advocates on record. So keeping in view all this contribution, which uh, the uh, advocates on record have made to the institution of Supreme Court, I think it's uh, very outrageous that a, even such a suggestion can ever, such a idea can ever occur to a person. Yes, sir. With that, that's all from today's question. And thank you for joining this session, sir. I think I have described most as much as I can. As a matter yes, of fact, sir. we should have a a longer session uh, yes, with yes. more insightful, you know, uh, uh, research. Yes, uh, it's yes, a very fascinating subject. Yes, I would like to have a more detailed one. Mm -hmm. Then later. Mm -hmm.